So a question I get asked all the time is what is shamanism? So shamanism is a spiritual practice that's been around for thousands and thousands of years. Who knows where it began, um, but basically it, there are strands from all over the world, from Russia to the South Pole, the North Pole, the Celtic lands, uh, even United Kingdom and Peru. Essentially, each of these strands has their own cosmology, their own symbology that creates um, an inner and outer world that weaves together archetypes, dreams, um, nature beings, spirits, gods. And this culture is um, handed down orally through these traditions, through the, through the generations. And shamanism um, is a relationship-based way of bringing into balance um, things like healing on an individual level or for the community at large. It's important to remember that when shamanism started, we were hunter-gatherers and there were very small groups of people moving around together, maybe 10 or 15 people and they would rely on a shaman to keep them healthy, helping them with their relationship with the land. So shamanism has had to be incredibly adaptive and practical to work and to be, to be kept alive through all the ages, through the different leaderships and cultures and organised religion practices. So in the West, the non-indigenous cultures, shamanism tends to be studied as a life path that's transformational. In the indigenous communities, shamanism or, or being called to be a shaman is not seen as something that's very popular because it's really hard work and you're always on call and it's also a matter of life and death in some cases. So you're risking your life on behalf of your community Shamanism can be woven into a practice which also incorporates a religious practice. Because shamanism isn't a religion in itself and it's not a dogma, so there are no rigid rules about what's right and what's wrong, although a person's integrity is very important. So I hope that's answered all your questions about shamanism. As a shamanic practitioner, I, I offer practical solutions for life challenges, from personal illness to professional work challenges to family and ancestral issues. So I diagnose the seen and the unseen energies to get to the root of the problem and then I carry out different energetic interventions to help resolve the issue. I call myself a shamanic practitioner so that people have an idea of what I do. I prefer to call myself a PACO. This is an Andean healer and this is honouring the tradition from the high Andes that I practice. This is someone who's working with the Andean mystical tradition. So the point of my training is that I weave the Andean mystical tradition, shamanic work and my artistic arts counselling into my practice. So in all of these um, approaches, a connection and a deep respect and honouring of the natural world is paramount. So thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to know anything more about me, please go to my website in the link below. Thank you.